What's up with y'all? I know it's been a minute as always, but today I just want to show y'all something I've been doing and it's been working pretty good. So we're going to take DSR and loss of scaling plus a 1080p monitor. And this time I actually have a gaming monitor. I know I was using actual TVs, but I got a gaming monitor. It's 100 hertz, which ain't much, but it is a monitor. We're going to take those three elements and combine them together. And we're going to be gaming at 4k recording at 4k without actually being in 4k and uh i think that's something that should be shared to the world now of course maybe somebody else already did a video on this but i don't know i haven't seen it yet so i just want to do my due diligence and also bring y'all this 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 idea or, or this let's let's just get into it bro so now we're on lossless scaling and um what we want to do is you these are settings you want okay um fsr put it on uh what i got on nine i didn't even know that i had it on we're gonna go up to the frame gen that's if you need frame gen if you don't need frame gen you can turn it off you know what i'm saying if you can game at 1440p and you can get above 60 frames you, you don't really need frame gen but if you do make sure you go to lsfg 2.3 uh not four times I, I was watching youtube videos that's why i did that but two times i had a resolution scale all the way up don't turn on performance mode on either one either either one don't turn on any type of optimization that's going to lower the quality i usually have it on default because it's just add extra delay uh and that's about it make sure you're on wgc for your capture api and uh you should be good to go man now let's open up nvidia control panel all right y'all we're now here so the first thing you want to do once you open up the nvidia control panel you want to head over to manage 3d settings and once you click on that you want to go down to dsr factors which i already have enabled because i mean i actually use this uh so what you'll do is click on the drop down menu scroll down to 4k which will be this one right here uh, and it might be different for y'all but just look for 3840 by 2160 something like that uh, i also enable these two because they are more optimized so uh yeah now you probably see dsr smoothness if you have a 1080p monitor you don't have to use it for 4k because it scales perfectly as far as like pixels and stuff like that it don't look crazy on your screen now just because it look crazy on your screen doesn't mean it's gonna look crazy on your game so you don't gotta worry about that even if it does but yeah for like 1440p on a 1080p monitor yeah you have to do it but that's that so otherwise you're not gonna need it now the next thing you want to do is you want to open up a game so i'm just screen recording this part uh, i'm gonna open up where is it? i'm gonna open up this game right here now i'm going to show you how this works you know what i'm saying in real time and this might be a short video man i just wanted to get this out here it ain't gonna be professional i'm just i'm just getting it out here for the for the sake of you know all content creators everywhere gamers too you know what i'm saying all gaming content creators is basically what i'm talking about so uh i'm gonna put this in window mode because that's how this works the best so right now lost of scaling thinks i'm using a 4k monitor right so i'm gonna go to as you can see i have it enabled now you know what i'm saying you want to go to windowed and then you want to make sure it's at 1440p so since it thinks you know i'm on a 4k monitor this is how 1080p would look if it wasn't scaled right so now this is what you want to do now you want to pull up lossless scaling bam and you want to use a short you can use you can press scale it's going to count down from five and this and you just click on the window that you wanted to scale but you can press Control alt and s make sure you got the window selected Control alt and s and it scales it up so it's scaling uh 1440p because this is real 1440p in the game you know what i'm saying it is scaling that to 4k or a version of 4k kind of like uh dlss but it doesn't do it from a lower resolution like it's doing it from 1440p real quick y'all just realize why editing this uh, i forgot to show y'all again how to record your lossless scaling so i'm gonna show you right quick you simply just want to create you another gameplay capture which i already do right here as you can see 
and you just want to make sure you select lossless scaling and you should be able to record your gameplay now back to the video it, it, it looks good to me like I, I'll probably put a video on the screen that I use it for and it looks like 4k pretty much So uh, that is it, man. You can get, go into your game and play or whatever. Everything should be fine, man. And as you can see, you can see my frames at the top of the screen. Here, let me see if I can move. Yeah, I can't use the mouse. Yeah, here we go. So you can see the frames. And since I have a, a 100 hertz monitor, it's splitting whatever frame rate I got going that's above, you know, 50. It's going to cut it to 50. And it's going to try to give me 100. Uh, I don't know why it's chipping right now. Probably because I got all type of other stuff going on. But uh, yeah, man, that is it, man. Uh, so if this helped y'all in any way, y'all let me know, bro. Like I said, I probably not the only one that made a video on this. They probably got other people. I just haven't seen it yet. But this works for me, man. Like you basically have DLSS, kind of. Uh, at least FSR, you know what I'm saying? And it works good. You can control your sharpness, uh, and then it has built in frame gen. You can't go wrong with that, bro. So try it out for yourself, man. Just try it out. That's all I ask. Try it out. And if you try it out from this video, say, hey, BCP, show me this. <laughs> but hey, man, thank y'all for watching, bro. This has been your boy, BCP Untamed, man. I'm going to try to come with more videos. I got some items I want to review, including my monitor. I just got to get around to the video because I no longer have my real camera i gotta let me show you this camera this is the camera i got now it is bullshit i tell you but yeah let me start running my mouth man thank y'all for watching bro make sure you subscribe and also head over to my gaming channel where i got all type of stuff besides gaming also and i will see y'all in the next one bro peace